talking with Ariel Moody, one half of Mama Soul. Ariel and Talia are two mums who've created the brand because they saw the need for sun care, which is sunscreen mixed with skin care. I think that's a really interesting concept because as I say with Ariel, quite often we see our sun care as something to be almost fearful of. We feel that sunscreen has to be put on because if we don't, something terrible could happen to our skin. We could develop burns, we could have moles that change and begin to look suspicious. So you almost become fearful and you apply your sunscreen and your SPF because you're fearful of the sun. So speaking with Ariel was really interesting because she helped me to understand the ethos behind Mamasol and why sun care is so important, why the ingredients were really important to Ariel and Talia and how they bonded over two mums who realised the importance of safe and effective natural sun care. It's also a great chat because we talk about Ariel's spiritual approach to business, her really impressive resume in the beauty and wellness industry. She really has worked for a lot of high profile companies and why it's important to Mama Sol to make sure that they really do build a community where you can not only buy your products and know exactly what's in them and how they work effectively for your skin and your needs, but also so that there's a community where you can bond and chat and get to know the fellow Mama Sol customers and enjoy the content. I really enjoyed speaking with Ariel and I hope you enjoy the podcast. Ariel, it is lovely to speak with you and I am so interested to hear about your brand Mama Sol. Um, I have been in the beauty industry for many years and I am interested to know your experiences in the beauty industry. So could you tell us a little bit about how you came to create this brand? I would love that. And I am also just want to say how excited I am to be talking with you. So um, I am Ariel. I'm the founder of Mama Soul. I have been in the beauty industry for the past 15 plus years and Elaine, like you, I actually, when I was nine years old, I used to have Friday night makeup nights with my mom. I knew from a very young age that the beauty industry was where I belonged and where I was going to be and to w- at what extent or what exactly where I didn't know, but I knew that that is where I was meant to be. So I <laughs> yeah, I loved hearing about how you dressed up as a bride. That was very much like, <laughs> sound like we have a lot in common. Um, that was brilliant. <laughs> so when I graduated college, I immediately started working in the beauty industry. And I, my first job was with um, Smashbox Cosmetics. And from mm-hmm. there, I then worked for Bite, um, Dr. Pericone and Bite Beauty. And then I became head of product development for a brand called Skin Cosmetics, which is a, um, so is a top selling brand on HSN. And then from there, I specialized in different areas of the manufacturing side, so formulation and packaging. So I have a wealth of knowledge. I specialize in sustainability. I specialize working with chemists and raw materials. And I have always just loved creating products. So um, when I was five months pregnant with my first son, I started researching ingredients to avoid when you're pregnant or nursing. And the Mm -hmm. list was just so long. And the ingredient that stood out to me the most at the time was oxybenzone. And oxybenzone has been found in breast milk. It causes skin allergies. It can cause hormone disruption, which can lead to low birth weight. I mean, it's the list, it was endless and it was really scary. And being that I have so much experience in the beauty industry, I thought to myself, this is a category that I can improve. And it's a really Mm -hmm. toxic category. But I should preface this because I I had a really, and I don't know if your listeners like the the woo, but I am, I love psychic readings. Yeah. (laughs) And so although this idea came to me super organically, it was actually a psychic reading that I had had about, I want to say six months before this idea came to me that really Mm -hmm. did help to 
spark this idea and then also just like made me feel more confident about moving forward with it. Um, so I had a psychic reading and, sh- and at the time, because I always knew I wanted to start my own brand. I just did, like I said earlier, I just didn't know what I wanted to do exactly. Right. I knew I loved yeah. creating products and all these things. So at the time I was like sketching an eyeshadow brand. I mean, totally different than what I'm doing now. And it was a clean eyeshadow brand. And it was, you know, I was really into photo shoots and the runway and all these things. So I was really into, you know, doing something with makeup artists and all these things. I have a psychic rating and she says, she has, she knows nothing about me. You are going to create a natural skincare brand similar to the Honest Company. She said, it's going to wow. be super successful. You're going to be on Access Hollywood. She started listing all these <laughs> all of these publications that we were going to be on. And by the way, we were on Access Hollywood. That's um, amazing. It was actually within three weeks of our launch a year ago. But I'll get back to that. I'll get back to that. Oh, wow. She said this to me and I was like, that is not at all what I was planning. You know, I had been sketching, you know, eyeshadow brands. And so when she said that to me, I was just kind of bewildered. But at the same time, it's definitely stuck with me. So... Fast forward to like when I was talking about when I was pregnant and was researching these ingredients and I started thinking about this sun care idea and mineral sun care idea, you know, the psychic reading really did play in to my subconscious where it was like, this is your path. This is profound. This is not just a makeup brand. This is something that can help protect women from cancer and, you know, just feeling safe at their most you know, precious time in their life or sensitive time in their life. And the brand is, let me just say, is not just for pregnant or nursing mothers, but it was created to be safe for pregnant and nursing mothers. But I made it for everybody. Mm -hmm. That, I mean, straight away, that story is amazing. And the knowledge that you must bring to your company, because as you say, your resume is really, I mean, those brands are top level. So in some ways, I can imagine it is a no-brainer to start your own brand. But in other ways, you must have thought, well, I can go to any brand I like. Um, I could be headhunted tomorrow. So did you feel that there was absolutely no way that you were going to put off starting your own brand? You knew that you had to do it. I have always known that I was meant to run a company. And it wasn't just about feeling like in power or you know, in that way, it was more about, I want to create a community. And, yeah. and, and so I have, I'm doing that and I'm, and I have been doing that, but I'm creating a community of moms. I'm creating a community of women. And I actually just finished wrapping up our first um, mama soul partnership program, which was a group of women. And I'm going to open up another one eventually, but I have a lot of things on my plate right now. But it was a group of six women. I had, I put out a message on our Instagram on Shop Mama Soul. And I said, you know, if you want to be a part of this Mama Soul Partnership Program, you can apply. And essentially what it was is we had over 100 applicants. And it was for women who wanted to learn more about clean beauty, wanted to create content and potentially, you know, make money while doing it because you get, they would get a commission off of the sales that they make. In that we had, yeah. And it was just like a way to empower women as another source of income. And even if the income didn't come, it was about creating this community to connect women. And all of these women are moms. Some of them, they're different stages. Some of them were nursing. Some of them were pregnant. Some of them were, um, had, you know, older children, you know? So it was really amazing to all connect and talk about all the different struggles we've had with our relationships, with our kids, with our careers. And mm-hmm. I was really trying to help them and give them tools to create the life of their dreams. And I think a big part of me being able to do that was the fact that I actually work with a business and manifestation coach myself. Mm-hmm. And her name is Julia Martin. She has a podcast of her own called Dream Your Life. And oh, brilliant. Yeah. And she, she's awesome. And she's, I've been working with her for the past eight months and she has really helped create, help me to create a lot of these ideas and bring them to life and, you know, and, and spread my knowledge 
to the masses. Manifestation has been a massive part of my growth for sure. Yeah, I really admire like yourself when people can actually put their manifestation into action because I think a lot of people fall down with manifestation because they think that if you dream it and desire it but you don't actually put the steps in to get to it then that's when they say oh manifestation didn't work for me but they didn't actually work towards it they just said I'd like to be this or I'd like to do this and then didn't do anything about it. Absolutely I think a really big thing to also remember is is to instead of saying I want this or I'd like this it's be grateful that you have something that may yeah. it may not actually be already right so a lot of times what I'll do is, for example, if I really want to get into a retailer, I will write in my journal, I'm so grateful for for um, being so successful in this retailer. And I'll write it down, like, for example, 30, three days in a row, 33 times. This is just an example. And you start mm-hmm. believing it. You know, you start, you write it in this. And in reality, time, and this, is, this might go up above some people's heads, but time is not linear. And that's my belief. And I believe that if you can believe it, then it's happened or it can happen and you have to, or it has happened, you know? And so I feel like just putting things into action, but also changing the way you think and the way you, you you write things down can really help change your mindset. And do you think that your spiritual approach to Mama Soul has really helped accelerate your success? Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's been pivotal for me. I think, you know, first of all, I manifestation and spirituality for me kind of go hand in hand. Um, I'm very much into believing that we are, there's so much, something so much bigger than us. Um, and I'm very, I'm very, very spiritual. And I really do believe that everything does happen for a reason. And there's a lesson to be learned in every situation. Um, so yeah, I think how has spirituality helped me? I think one of one of the things I'll put, I would say that a, a way in which manifestation has really helped me is I set intentions uh, before I go. For example, if, if you want to put things into action, right, and you want to really want to make changes in your life, I think that networking for me has been the number one way in which to do that. And so when you, you can go to a networking event and you can just meet people and mingle and that's great. But I think setting an intention of why, why are you going to this event? Who do you want to meet at this event? I, every networking event I've gone to, I've met a crucial team member, you know, whether it's my COO or whether it's my head of retail sales or my PR or wherever, whatever team member it is. They've all come because I have set that intention. And that totally boils down to my spirituality and just believing that I can attract all the things that I want into my life. I just think I love it when I hear the success stories of that, because I think, again, a lot of people that maybe want to look into starting a business or they want to achieve a dream, a lot of people think that it's something that other people do and they can't achieve it. So hearing that from yourself, I think will be very inspirational. A hundred percent. I think it's just so, I think the number one thing for me, especially, I mean, I can share a story like the, when I first started the business, we had so many problems in the beginning. I mean, I went through two chemists before I found our chemist. So it, it, Mm -hmm. it ended up our third chemist that ended up being what I like to call my unicorn. But the first, the first two chemists just couldn't create a formula that was, you know, passing FDA regulations. And we had, I was, I actually had started the business with a different co-founder and we had been working so hard and spending so much money and the results weren't happening. And so many people could have said, I am done. Like I can't put any more money into this. And unfortunately, you know, at the time, my co-founder at the time, she couldn't, she couldn't put any more money. And she, she felt like she wanted to cut her losses. For me, I knew that I could get where I wanted and I believed in it so wholeheartedly and I didn't give up. And I'm so, so grateful that I didn't because look where I am now. We have just been Mm -hmm. featured in Harper's Bazaar for top 10 sunscreen for sensitive skin. Women's Health Magazine just voted us 
top our best um, mineral sunscreen for dry skin. We just were on, you know, New Beauty and BuzzFeed and, it, you know, the list goes on and opportunities have been flowing in. And if I had given up, none of this would have happened. And it's just, yeah. I think it's just so important to, if you believe something, never give up and just keep believing in the feeling that you want to feel at the end of the day and not necessarily the, the specific steps. For example, like, if I were just to manifest on this one account or this one retailer, I would really be limiting myself and all the possibilities that could be coming. So instead for your listeners, I think it's so important if they, instead of focusing on this one thing that you want, focus on how you want to feel and write those feelings down. Like I want to feel excited. I want to feel passionate, like, and then feel those things and really just Try and manifest those feelings into your life. And I promise you, if you can do that, it will come. Oh, that is great advice. And talking about your products, I'm interested to know exactly why you know that your products are the right products to create and they're getting those awards and they're being seen. And it's for the reason that there will be so many people that think that just going into the pharmacy or going into the supermarket and just picking something, any old thing off the shelf is perfectly acceptable. Why do you think these people need to understand that you are creating products that are out there winning awards? Like you say, they're good for sensitive skins or good for dry skins. What's different between them? And again, just something that would pick up off any shelf and they think that's perfectly fine. That will do the trick for me. Sure, I can totally dive into our ingredients and just what makes us different. So I first want to start off by saying, because I'm going to focus a bit on um, sunscreen in general, since that's the category that we're in. So there's a difference. I don't know if your viewers or your listeners know this, but there's a big difference between chemical sunscreen and mineral sunscreen. Mm -hmm. Chemical sunscreen absorbs into your skin and it can get into your bloodstream, whereas Mineral sunscreen sits on top of your skin like a physical shield and it physically blocks UV, UVB rays from penetrating into your skin. And it also cools the skin, whereas um, chemical sunscreen actually warms the skin. So it's just completely different. So Mm -hmm. the reason I chose mineral, obviously, is because it, it just is safer. But what are the number one reasons why people don't like wearing mineral sunscreen? Our research has shown they don't like the white cast. They don't like the greasy feel. They don't like like feeling like thick. They don't like the smell. You know, there's a million, there's a million reasons. Um, So we pretty much solved all of that, right? So our line is 100% mineral, but it goes and blends in like a chemical sunscreen, meaning it doesn't leave a white cast. So our formulas go on white so you can see where you apply them and you don't miss a spot because I think a lot of people when they're putting chemical sunscreen on you don't even know exactly where you missed a spot because it goes it's immediately clear on the skin so I think that's one benefit of our formulas Mm -hmm. number two we're silicone free so silicones tend to clog your pores silicones are not biodegradable so our line super sustainable and silicones are used, and I'll get a little ingredient nerdy here, but it's silicones are actually used mainly in mineral sunscreens and chemical, but they they actually can suspend zinc oxide so that it prevents separation. So it's an easy way for chemists to formulate mineral sunscreens without having separation occur, so that without having stability issues. But I didn't want silicones in our line. That was really hard to achieved. So that is one in itself. You're just getting like a lot cleaner, more sustainable ingredients. And then also the smell. It was such a big deal because I think a lot of people, when they put on sunscreen, they don't want to smell like sunscreen. And that's a big reason why people like they feel icky or they it's sticky and they just don't want to have that on them. So yeah. our whole mission behind the line is to create a sun care movement. And part of that goes to the way it smells. So our formulas are created with a subtle hint of lavender essential oil. And every, oh. every with every use, you, you it encourages you to take a deep breath. It just feels so good. And, it, you know, the reason we created it, I'm a busy mom of two. And every time I'm putting on my sunscreen now, I really have like a mental health care moment in the morning. I'm like, 
this feels so good. Like it's so, my sunscreen is very mm-hmm. super hydrating and you just want to take a deep breath. And I think those are like just three reasons off the top of my head that I think is worth checking us out for sure. Um, and then I can just talk about just the three different products that I did create. If you're interested. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And I love to, just before you, you even go into that, you've made me think about sunscreen in a very different way. Um, they kind of have created a fear around the sun and they've created this fear and you put on your sunscreen because you're terrified of something happening to your skin. And you are the first person that I've heard actually make it a self-care moment and a relaxation moment. Normally you associate it with, I better not get burnt. I hope there's nothing developing in my skin. I hope that's not a strange mole. You've just made me think of it in a completely different way. So you're the first person that's done that. Oh, I love hearing that. I mean, that's exactly what we're trying to do. We actually, our our spa channel, um, our wholesale spa channel is our biggest um, channel right now. And our, we like to say, if sunscreen and a spa day had a baby, you'd get mama soul. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it, you know, each product that we created, we have three SKUs. And each product was super intentional. And because I'm a, and because I mentioned I am a busy mom, I don't have time to put on 80 million products, right? So our okay. all three of our formulas are multitasking. And it's a super simple skin sun care routine, but it's all, and we say sun care instead of sunscreen because it's a mix between skin care and sunscreen because you're getting right. all the anti-aging benefits and all the hydration and antioxidant benefits using our sun, sun care line. So first we launched in April of 2023, our 100% mineral moisturizing sunscreen SPF 30. And this is a three-in-one. So this is going to be your SPF 30. It's your hydrating um, uh, daily moisturizer with anti-aging benefits. And then it's also your skin smoothing makeup primer all in one. So a lot of times when you wear sunscreen and you put makeup on top of it, your makeup starts to pill. This Mm -hmm. will not happen with our sunscreen. We've done a ton of testing and it's actually been one of like our best features, I would say, of of the product. Um, and then I can get into all the, all the actual ingredients, but I'm just giving you like a high level overview of what we have. Yeah. And then just to know, like we're super sustainable with the packaging. So the face sunscreen is packaged in a sleek glass bottle with a pump. Then we have our, um, a 100% mineral tinted lip oils. These are my, this was a passion project for me. Um, there's very few mineral lip oils products on the market and lip oils in particular was something that was really calling to me because I wanted it to feel luxurious. I wanted it to feel like it was a treatment that you're putting on your lips. So our lip oils are not sticky. They go on really smooth, give you a hint of color. They come in two shades. There's a, like a rosy soft petal pink. And then there's like a toasty nude with subtle peach undertones are the two shades that we have. And they're, the number one reason a lot of people don't know that your lips start to thin or they start to get um, wrinkles around the lips is because of UV damage. And the number one place I think that people forget to protect their skin is their lips. So Mm -hmm. for me, it felt very, and and then also being able to have some color on your lips, you know, it's a win-win. So that, that was our second product. That's also in a glass vial, super luxe. And then the, um, and then we have our body umbrella. That is our 100% mineral um, moisturizing sunscreen SPF 40 water, 40 minute water resistant. This you can use on yourself, your kids. Again, the line is meant for the mom, right? Just because I wanted, mm-hmm. I don't want to forget about the mom. We, I feel like we, all we do is think about our kids, but we're not thinking about ourselves. And so that was kind of the thought behind this line and the luxurious factor. But the body sunscreen is also anti-aging as well. So it's going to help smooth your skin, tone your skin and hydrate your skin and then also protect your skin. Great idea. And if anyone hasn't checked out the website, it's a beautiful website too. And you can really see the products. I love the fact that you've got a really great blog as well. And you, you go into the information, you go into additional knowledge. I think that's a great idea because if someone isn't familiar with mineral sunscreen or not familiar with your brand. I think the blog's really helpful in giving people that additional knowledge. And it's also enjoyable to read too. So people can take five minutes out and just relax with a coffee and just have a read and and learn. 
Yeah, absolutely. I love that you read our blog. Yeah, we, we started that um, in the beginning of the year. It's, it's been great. Um, and then in, in addition to our blog, because again, we're trying to expand our community, I'm actually doing something even more. So this you might like too. We're doing, it's called a um, expert speaker series. And I just had our first episode last week. And then we're going to have our next one, um, I, on, I think on August 21st. But it's, I'm going to be interviewing um, a different expert every single month. I have like 12 months kind of laid out that I'm planning. But the net, we're going to have experts, clinical psychologists, postpartum experts, um, psy- psy- uh, psychics. I'm going to have on Excellent. animal whispers, all these different types of yeah. experts that I'm trying to essentially just connect women um, in one central place that is curious about all different types of topics, but that all relate back to just being a woman, being a mom, and just all of the things that go along with it. What a great idea. And again, you you are making it a community. And it's lovely because when you love a product and you love a brand and you love what it stands for, it's actually great to get to know the people behind it too. I think that's such a great idea. And talking about that, um, what kind of feedback really has blown you away? Um, Is there anything that stands out when you think, yes, this is why we're creating these products. This is what we want to hear. Have you had anything that stands out? Yeah. I mean, I've had, we've had a lot of amazing testimonials and feedback. And I think the ones that, that are really specific, like my, one of our, um, somebody wrote in saying that they have had never been able to find a sunscreen that didn't flare up their eczema, their acne. Mm -hmm. They had been suffering from horrible, um, acne breakouts, eczema breakouts from all of these um, different products they were using. And they said they gave us a try. It was the first one that not only didn't flare them up, but she felt like it calmed her skin. So that to me, you know, giving somebody that confidence back into their life and just one less thing that they have to worry about, I would say that was a standout for me. That honestly, I can imagine that when you hear something like that, it must make your day because that's what it's all about is, it's making that product that improves people's lives and makes everything a little bit easier for them. You must be dancing about when you hear things like that. I am. And I just, I, every day I wake up and I love what I'm doing and I get so excited for what the next day brings. And I, I really want to help other people feel the same way and, and get that passion back into their life. So that's when you're following Shop Mama Soul or, following along for our journey that's what I'm hoping to spread do you know what that's if anyone didn't feel inspired they will now because it's so nice to hear someone just so up and so positive because as you know it can be really challenging not even running a business just any job that anyone's got the challenges seem to be insane nowadays there seems to be so much stress so to hear you be so positive and again the spiritual element it's just lovely to hear. So could you Aww. tell us again? Oh, honestly, I mean, it, it's just so nice to hear because every day when, <laughs> when you see the news and you're like, oh, stress everywhere. So when you hear someone like yourself, you think, yes, optimism, positivity. I am here for this. Um, and totally. the website then, shopmamasoul.com. Is that correct? That's right. Excellent. And if someone wanted to take a look at your Instagram, where would they find you there? Shop Mama Soul is our Instagram, and I am so grateful to be interviewed by you, Elaine. And I wanted to offer your listeners a discount code. Um, it's Home Spa Mama Fifteen. Oh, wonderful! That is very nice of you. Thank you. And yeah. um, you can shop online. Um, I know that sometimes with sunscreens, it's not open everywhere at the same time. So, will there be certain territories? Will they know when they go on? So currently, guys, we're only sold in the U.S. My mm-hmm. goal is to bring us bring us to Europe, to Canada, to Australia. We want to go everywhere. We are a small, self-funded startup. So as the moment, that's where you can find us. <laughs> yeah. 
But the good thing is, again, that as time goes on, when people are going their holidays too, they can pop into places and get their products too. So that's the exciting thing about having a small brand too, the growing element and uh, appearing in new places. I think that's always exciting when you love a brand and you spot them in different places. Absolutely. No, we're so excited. We're all about growing right now. We just launched at the Fairmont, Carmel Valley Ranch, and we are talking to several others. So whenever you're, if you're traveling, you can find uh, Mama Soul at several other places just besides our website. (laughs) I love it. And you know that when you've got fans, they'll be taking pictures and they'll be uploading them to show you that they've just spotted you somewhere. I love when you see that. Oh, we just, that just happened to us the other day. We love, we love getting those pictures. Love, love, love. See, I think that's because you're spreading the positivity. That's why that's happening. But it's been so yeah, and lovely I, and to I speak with you. I also want to say, like, you know, everybody goes through ups and downs. I have them too. I just really try yeah. every day to start my day with three things I'm grateful for. So that's that's a really good, like, piece or tip that I could leave with your audience. That really does mean a lot because, as I say, um, it can be really challenging. I think a lot of people wake up now and they actually think of all the things that they have to do that, don't seem very fun so you being able to share that and I think that that will resonate with a lot of people and they might start seeing everything differently when they wake up and seeing the positives so I really appreciate that and I think what you're doing is fantastic and as I say I love the products I love the website and if anyone hasn't read the blog I'd recommend it and I love what you were saying about the expert chats too so I'm going to have to definitely search out for that I'm looking forward to (laughs) thank you thank you so much Thank you, Elaine.